Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I'm from AZ Motorbike. Welcome to our channel. So today I'm going to show you how to drive a semi-automatic -auto motorbike. So uh, traveling in Vietnam became very famous over time. And now so many backpackers come to Vietnam uh, to ride a motorbike for the very first time. And maybe some of you might not know how to drive it properly and effectively. So if you don't know how to ride it, this video is for you. So Vietnam is actually the great place to learn how to ride a motorbike for complete beginners because there's low in power, small in size, and uh, Vietnamese people tend to drive in an incredible slow speed. And although the city may look uh, a little bit chaotic, but uh, once you go out, you realize how slow the roads really are. And uh, it's not far to get into the countryside roads. There are one of the greatest mountain roads uh, out there ready to be driven. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to show you how to, uh, how the semi-automatic motorbike worked. So here we have a accelerator here. When you pull back, you go forward and this is the front brake. Down here, down here we have the back brake pedal. This one is really important and you can use it by default. On the left foot, we have four gears going one, two, three, four, neutral this way, and four, three, two, one, neutral this way. Uh, you can use your toe for both sides, or some people use their heels, and uh, basically whatever works for you. So up here we have uh, the high beam here the low beam here and this is the horn and this is the signal lights the horn and some of the western countries when someone beeps you it means they are trying to annoy you but it is so very different in Asia especially in Southeast Asia when someone beeps you it means they are trying to let you know that they are really close uh, maybe they are behind you or yes so uh, all you need to do is ride close to the right when they are overtaking you that's all and sometimes it means get out of the way just kidding all right so this is the signal light turn left turn right and uh, when you would like to turn off it just push it okay so uh, in the other side, we have the ignition button here, uh, as you can see. So here, I'm going to show you how to uh, turn on the engine, get the key, turn right, and then all you need to do is press the ignition button here. So now the engine starts, but when I pull the trigger, it doesn't move because now I'm in the neutral right so all you need to do is pop it into gear one but with the gear one it has a really high acceleration but a low top speed and uh, in the other side in the other side of the scale we have the gear four it has high top speed but lower acceleration so now i will pull the trigger it moves and with the gear one, uh, the bike can ar ar accelerate really quickly like this. Uh, so, uh, if you if you have never used the bike before, so uh, you you are not used to the gear one because it can accelerate really quickly. So all you need to do is pop it into gear four. So now you realize the bike has less acceleration than before. So it's uh, really slow. So we can ride it 
with a really slow speed. So after after a while, you are used to it. You can go to the open roads, and everything is totally fine. So now I'm gonna show you how to uh, change the gear. So the most important thing when you're changing the gear, uh, you need to off the gas. So now I'm in the gear four. Off the gas, change the gear three. I'm back on the gas again. Off the gas, change the gear. Back on the gas again. Off the gas, change the gear. Gear two, gear one. Yeah, so that's all you need to know about how to change the gear. So now I'm gonna show you how it really works. Uh, outside the roads, now I'm in the gear one. Gear two, off the gas, gear three, off the gas, gear four. So gear four is designed to, uh, for the high top speed. So yes, so imagine that you see the traffic light. So it's normal to change the gear to number two when you when you're waiting for the traffic light turn to the green now like this so yeah now i'm gonna get two so when the traffic light turns to green you uh, will pull the trigger you can move forward change the gear three change the gear four The thing, the thing is, because when you, when you waiting for the traffic light, uh, you change the gear too. So after the traffic light turns to green, so uh, uh, your bike will have a lot more acceleration, so it can move easy easily after the traffic light. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna show you uh, the gear you can use as a break, the second break. Uh, this so now I'm in the gear four. I'm changing the gear three, gear two, gear one. So now you can see your gear can function as a second break like this. So it's, it's really great to climb the mountain. So you have You don't need to use the brake a lot. You can use your gear as a brake. So it's really good. So now I'm gonna show you how to lock the neck and how to open the seat and everything. Now, down here we have a seat lock. You put the key in, turn right, and now we open the seat. Uh, the seat we have a small compartment here, usually for a raincoat and uh, some kind of tools because it's just small. All right, so the gas tank here, you twist, and now we have fuel in it. Push it back to lock it, and uh, right here we have a zipper. This one is called zipper, so we will use a plastic part in your key to open it here so you turn so the cover will come out to prevent people put a random key into your bike so it's really safe all you need to do is straight it off to open the lock so to lock the neck all you need to do is turn Turn your vehicle, uh, turn the leg all the way to the left. And then you put the key on, turn to the right. And then, so now the neck is locked. Is locked. Okay. So this is the end of our video today. I hope you enjoy it. 
and if you're new here don't forget to click subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up if this video helps you learn how to drive a semi-automatic and thank you for watching i'll see you next week